So yeah, and then at, at that point, um, eight o'clock, I thought we'd better phone and, and see, and then it, it couldn't. You couldn't make it up. I had a really terrible phone signal. We were walking yeah. all over the house. The lady at the other end was speaking to me. I, kept I had to keep repeating all the information, going through like security checks. And I'm thinking, this, 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 you know, and then and eventually. And Thwaites one of those names. Yeah, yeah. I've got the surname. I've spelled it out about 15 different times in different ways. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah. We ended up in one of our kids' room next to the window, yeah, like trying, trying to get, get signal. signal. And then. Uh, all of a sudden, the lady was the so woman, sweet, yeah, woman, wasn't yeah, she? She was amazing. Went quiet on me and said, uh, "I'm going to put you on hold," and then uh, come back to us and confirmed. Yeah, I still didn't believe it at that point. She was yeah. so sweet. She said, yeah. "Joe was like, I think, I think we've won the lottery," and she was like, "Oh, okay," telling us also, "How much do you think you won?" And he was like, "No, I think we won." Yeah. And um, so <laughs> then, went from there. so then she was like, and then she said, "Put us on hold," and she came back on and she went, "You definitely have won." Yeah. <laughs> it was really sweet and excited. Yeah. So when that when you yeah. put the phone down from that, do you then what happens then? Do you have a moment to yourselves? I mean, obviously it's still sinking in now. Yeah, it, it was. I all, didn't really think right. it was real, did I? <laughs> yeah, no. I still I don't know. just, I just, thought, we it just wasn't thought real. Yeah. Well, uh, we we you then were. get yeah. Well, I was, I was reasonably. We they told us reasonably. somebody would ring us well, yeah, in we were a few hours a and ratify call. it all and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. So we, I was I was on the. We were waiting for yeah, that, weren't we? Yeah. I was definitely. It was seeming more real, but still not that. Joe, we we just checked back. Uh, in a room, and you showed me the the, the app, yeah. your app, and you've still got the balance of nine pounds eighty, which I love. And then underneath, you've got you've won. And then it's only that you click in when you've won, you yeah, get all kinds of money that yeah. comes yeah. up. And it's such a, it's quite hard to quantify that. Apparently. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it, it, yeah, it is. And then so yeah, we worked, we thought we'll wait for the next phone call. And then I, I just we just, just went on off with our lives. I went off and I logged on to my laptop and started work. work. Yeah, and I went mm. to work. I was on my way to work, and I said to Joe. I rang him and I said, because I work with my mum and my sister, and I was like, I, we're just not the family that could lie to one another. We're just, you know, we're a really close family, and I couldn't have gone to work and not told them something. So I rang Joe and I was like, Joe, I'm going to have to tell my mum something. I can't lie to her. And he was like, it's fine. Just please don't tell her how much or get her excited or just tell, don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Just so we won just the lottery. So we know, we know this is yeah. Well, what we yeah. So then. I called her and said, oh, are you on your way into work, Mum? And she was like, yes. And I said, I'll meet you in the car park. And she said to me afterwards, she was like, it's so weird. You never meet me in the it's car park. It's quite strange to say to your mum, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So then I met her in the car park. And I was like, I said, I've got something to tell you, a secret to tell you, but you have to promise not to tell anybody. She was like, OK. She said, and then she was like, are you pregnant? I was like, no, no way. I said, actually, what I said was, it's better than being pregnant. <laughs> so so um, I said, I think we've won the lottery. And she was like, the Euro millions. And I was like, well, Joe said I, I, I shouldn't talk about it. I don't want to get you. She said, have you won the Euro millions? And she knew all about it, exactly how much it was. Down to the pence. Down to the 10 yeah, pence funny. on the end. And I was like, I couldn't hold anything back. I was like, I don't know, we're waiting for a call. But I think she just literally screamed in the car park yeah. and burst into tears because even though it's wonderful and exciting, it's also a massive relief for everybody that's been struggling with all their bills and all their things for all this time. Like yeah. We're like every normal family that has well, have that thing. So it's just yeah. a huge relief so, as okay, well. So, yeah. so let's go into that. So tell us a little bit about yourselves, uh, what you do for a living and, and, yeah. and your life. So, okay, so I, I work for a communications company and basically, obviously, like most people from lockdown, I just sat at home, log on at 8.30 or 8 in the morning and sit there till 6, 6, 7, 6.30 at night and, and just chug away at the keyboard. So uh, my life is generally that during the week and then weekends aren't, it pretty much revolves around DIY and, and just trying to... And our kids. And our kids trying to get stuff done because the house we live in needs loads of work. To yeah. and, that, and that was basically what we were doing every weekend. I was saying to... to but, uh, like Jess, we need a bigger fridge because the list of things I've got just carries on going down and down and down. <laughs> I can't get it all in, in one space. It, it's that big. So, yeah, it, it's it's you know it, these are the things you do in life, you yeah. know, to, to get what you're trying to where you're trying to get to. But yeah, it's been pretty hectic. So you chase, get up, pretty much just chase your tail until yeah. you go to bed. Yeah, right? so yeah. 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 Five fifteen, yeah. I get up and then that's it. it is, yeah, it's till eleven. I know. Eleven we nine, constantly we discuss bed. that yeah. we don't watch telly because. We just go until we stop. Oh, yeah. So you get the like kids to bed. Normal, normal, right? Yeah, we just normal. Yeah. So I um, have a hair salon with my sister and my mum. Mm -hmm. 
So I run the business side of that, and um, I we have a kids. So my kids go to school, like primary school, and then I work four days a week, and we have too many animals. Yeah. Yeah. Too many hands on that we look after, so yeah. You've got geckos? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. got geckos. two geckos. Yeah. Yeah. We have horses, yeah. ponies, yeah. And yeah. chickens, yeah. and dogs, and yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. You've got a, you too know, many things. Exactly, you've got, you've got <laughs> these busy, things busy, that you know, busy. You're, you're working to pay off these things, and yeah. you, know, yeah. and, and you're, you yeah, want your kids to go for our next Yeah, we just want to create that kind of lifestyle for our children. We're right at the bottom because we've you know, pushed everything to, to get this house that. Yeah. We can have our ponies at home, and um, that's been our dream. Mm -hmm. We thought we'd hit yeah, we the biggest we'd, we'd dream that we could ever there, yeah. have done. I mean, in the house we have so yeah. much work to do. I was telling them before, like we have a bucket in our hallway that collects the rain every time right. it rains. So you, because you know, you, you're working oh, hard, and yeah. you've got you, you, yeah. the stage in your life where you, you know, you've got your children, and but you're working hand to mouth to. Yeah, to, we, yeah we've to, to, we've to like we got we've saved to do some building to the house but that's what we have mm -hmm. and we're waiting till it's not as expensive as it is right now for yeah, the building yeah. yeah things but yeah we're not i'm not saying that um it's horrendous no we you know we love our life yeah. this yeah. is what we've chosen we absolutely Kids love, love it, so yeah that's, and that's why we're where we are i think when i when i met you in a room next door um guys the first thing that that uh that thankfully came to me was this, you've both got this incredible amount of humility about yourselves and you were aware that the world, is, we're in a very tough place at the moment, the cost yeah. of living crisis, inflation going up, yeah. you know, those things, you know, you were aware of those things and, and, and how lucky this is. Yeah, I mean, this is actually all, 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 you know, the way of the world is, is crazy and, and it's affected our lives and this, this it couldn't, I mean, couldn't it's change. not just us though. No, before this lockdown, were family. you feeling that? Before yeah. this lockdown, yeah. before yeah. this lockdown. Like everybody is, yeah. like everybody in Jesse our family. Jesse Sayers' really struck, you know, yeah, struck. It's we hard. the cost of electricity to heat the water, to, you know, all the yeah. people, you know, the people aren't coming through the door because COVID. And, yeah, and all yeah. The rest of the just stuff. those normal things. But yeah, it's just amazing that we can, what we can do for our friends and our, our family, family yeah. and yeah. Cause cause yeah. So I guess that's the next question is, is why did you decide to, um, Public. So, because um, obviously we want—it's not really for us. <laughs> we we, we, we want to share this. Our, we, we, our friends and our families, loads of people close to us, really helped us, got us through a lot, and we want to be able to pass that back. But you can't hand you someone can't something, that, or you can't yeah. do something, or you can't take someone on an amazing holiday without them asking. <laughs> and then I don't want to pass a lie on. I don't want to yeah, be in a situation I'll where I say, this is a secret, you've got to keep it. Yeah. And I don't want to be in that situation that where I'm is, That burden is hard to put on others, and we don't want to yeah. put that burden this on people This week's been we hard know. enough. Trying yeah. to so, and, you know, this is an amazing thing that's happened to us, and this means it's an amazing thing that's happened to our family, and we want to share that with them. We love them, and that's yeah. our main aim, to be able to... So it's not about doing this. This is our hardest part. Mm -hmm. It's about um, yeah. you know being able to be open with the people we love yeah. and being able to share amazing adventures with because, them all. Uh, and time. As with you them. said, Joe, if you ask people to be complicit um, and not say anything, oh, then that, yeah, we couldn't that's, have done that. That, uh, that and, and obviously you want to help your whole family. So yeah. that burden becomes that's oh. quite a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you can't. You just couldn't do it. We couldn't lie like that. So it's, even the children, you wouldn't want to lie to your children. Mm. Because, but then, you know, they're excited, they're going to go off and tell their friends and, you know, we just need to be open about this and, and you know, find what we're going to do. We it's wanna, also new, we don't know where we're heading, yeah. but I think if we, we do We want to get back we, yeah. as quickly as we can to our normal life. Obviously, it's, it's a normal. whole different version of a normal sure. life and we get that and we yeah. know how privileged we are and we yeah. are so, so grateful. Yeah. But we want to be able to share this, we want to be able to have the time to have fun with our family. Yeah. I mean, I guess it, because it's so much money, so, you know, 184 million pounds, as your, as your mum would say, 269,890. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, is it too much money for one person? I guess I have to ask that question. We see this as our family winning this. Yeah. Like, it isn't us. It's, it's our family and our friends yeah. and yeah. all of those kind of things. Yeah. We have family in places over the world that we haven't seen for years yeah. and years. And we can't wait to either go yeah. to them or bring them to us. Yeah. It's about 
time with the people we love. Yeah. And and instead I, I, of chasing I, I, our tail every yeah. minute of the day just to be able and to sort of live legacy, that dream. Yeah. yeah, I think just oh weekends with the weekends away with the children and, and doing things that you know that building those memories for them more while you can. Yeah, and this you know, if we look after and look after the people we love, this will look after generations yeah. hopefully. Yeah, totally. And other people around us and you know, that's that's our hope that we can yeah. you know, love all the people that we love. Joe, it was interesting when we were talking earlier, you just said that it's at the moment, because you are chasing your tail, you know, you finish work and then, you know, the weekends, you end up, you, you know, you're doing up your house, you're not really spending that quality time with your kids yeah. until you're primary school age, right? Yeah, yeah. I know, uh, that's, it's the, the, you know, one of the things in life, you, you have a balance, but, you, you, but obviously I can change that now and, and concentrate more on, on what I can do and, and what we can do. Yeah, with, we with can't wait. And, like, and, yeah. they I'm love just having a holiday that isn't in the tent. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, just can't, I can't wait for that. Um, they, love, they love doing simple things yeah. with us. Like, they love us going on bike rides. They love us doing the simple... They're not flashy they're, they're kids simple, at but all. Those simple things aren't going to go away. Yeah, those... Oh, my gosh, no. Yeah. But just actually... Just yeah. Saying... <laughs> yeah. Just, just sleeping in a Yeah. Yeah, but there are, we can't wait to do those things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, well... Let's open it out, shall we? Uh, so if you can, I know there's a couple of road mics, thank you, sorry. Um, so if you just say uh, your name or where you're from. And yeah, sure, hello. Um, my name's Lisa, I'm from Sky News, and I just wanted to ask you a quick question, if that's okay. And yeah. um, Joe, to you, are you worried about your heating bills still and filling up your car? And, and uh, to you, yeah, Jess? Yeah, um, um, so yeah, that has changed quite a bit, and, and I was thinking about this the other day, that there's a lot of things that, you know, that a lot of people are struggling with, but... You know, that is Jane, these days, because, well, you know, we built, we've just bought, we had the house we moved into, and you base everything on, on how much money you've got, and, and on all of those, th you know, all of those costs have totally changed now, so that this is, this is huge for us, you know, but yeah, I did put the immersion heating on the other day, and heated up the hot water, and just thought, that's fine, we're in the past, you know, these are the sort of things you just didn't, you don't do, so, yeah, it, it's huge. Jess, do you worry about going public? I, I've been really worried about going public, yeah, just because I want to protect the people I love. Um, I want to make sure that they're all okay. Um, and, yeah, it, it isn't really something that I, I've dreamed of doing, absolutely. But I feel this is the way that we can be honest to them all, we can enjoy it with them all, and it's going to allow us to give them loads to them. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Becca. Natas Jarrod from the BBC. Um, just wanted to ask on that subject of on that subject of going public. Are you worried about scammers, people coming forward who might want to take your money from you? Is that one of the um, concerns yeah. around going public? I haven't even I haven't, haven't even thought, even thought, thought like of that. anything like that. Uh, to be honest, yeah. we're a week in. Yeah. We're like so overwhelmed by other stuff. Yeah. I I just haven't even got to consider yeah. that. If I'm honest, we're trying to think of all the positives. But, I mean, that's the, the main thing of this is there's a lot of positives. So. Bradley Harris, 5 News. Uh, do you both feel that you have a responsibility now with the sheer amount of money that you've won, given that we're in the middle of a cost of living crisis? Um, I don't... Uh, it, it's, it, this is also new to us. That I, there's a lot of things we've got... After this, we've got to go away. We, we've been so busy this week just trying to, you know, with work and everything else, just trying to get everyone else in a good place because obviously we knew we were... But, you know, I think those people yeah. are in the same boat as us. So, absolutely, we, we um, get where they are, but we just got to get our head around this We've got, massive yeah, thing. and think things through and, and move on from there, I think. Hello there. Matt Drake, Good Morning Britain. Two questions. First of all, were you using the same numbers? And if so, was there any significance to those numbers? And more importantly, who's going to play you in the film? <laughs> <laughs> So um, I always go with the lucky dip because I just think that's easier. You just, I just buy a lucky dip on, on either the lottery or the national lottery, depending on which one looks like it. You know, it, it's got a lot. There's a lot of money there, and the, the, yeah, that's it. My um, my family, my dad played the lottery all of our when we, we were growing up, and he played the same numbers every single week. Um, he died about seven years ago, and kind of Joe took on the baton as the one who did the lottery for our family. So he started off using those numbers, but he'd forget them or get them wrong or something. So yeah. we then went to Lucky Dip so that it was luck. Yeah. But yeah, it's unbelievable because that's what my dad dreamed of all his yeah. life and tried, used to say to us frequently, imagine if you won the lottery. Think about if you win the lottery. And um, 
yeah, it's just crazy. But who's going to play you in the film? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's another, do you know, I hadn't really, that's another <laughs> <laughs> thing that crossed my mind. There's a, there's a whole list of things that... Uh, yeah. Joe, you've got yeah. some Stanley Tucci vibes going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, so, we're not... Yeah. Uh, okay, who's next? Congratulations, first Thank of all. Ben Chapman from ICB News. You've talked a lot about spending time with family, but is there one thing you've always dreamed of buying? Um, We're not really those materialistic people. No. If you saw our house, you would know <laughs> that yeah. I, you know. But I, don't, I think I'll probably buy a new car, I'm sure, or something like that, but we haven't got a huge... Yeah. We'd love to go on a family holiday. Is it more, we the experience, get, more experiences? Yeah, yeah. We ha we'd so love to... We had to go buy suitcases to come here yeah. because we, we don't go on holiday. We never yeah. go on holiday. Um, so our kids would just yeah. die to go um, to the sun and do that kind of thing. So I'd love to go and do that. Yeah, that, that's the main thing that they've talked about is holidays. Yeah. Is there a particular place? So, uh, yeah, so my, our youngest... Constantly, it's always wanted to go to Hawaii. I think YouTube's to blame for that. <laughs> we have um, no idea why, but yeah, they're but obsessed with Hawaii. And the other one wants to go to like a Texas ranch uh, trail thing where you ride horses across. Uh, so, so that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the plan. They so know. Far. I think we'll work from there. Joe and Jess, Steve Nibbs from the BBC as well. Um, huge congratulations, first Thank of all, from the local BBC. You've talked about helping family and friends. That's almost a no-brainer. This is such a huge amount of money. Are there any causes close to your heart that you're going to try and do something philanthropic with the money, help charities or causes that, that, you were, that you've got to keep? Do you know what? I think that's an area we will get to, but we're one week in. It's yeah. blown our mind just yeah. getting to this point. And, um, you know, we're, we're not there yet, but we're going to definitely take some advice and talk to people yeah, about this. Yeah, go, go from there, because, yeah, it's... Yeah. It's just, it's just the first moment it, it's real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like very real. Yeah, so up until this point, I, I still keep thinking I'm going to like fall out of bed and, and it's all going to be yeah. a, a dream. My mum keeps texting me saying, are we alive? Yeah. I'm like, well, we're all not alive. Yeah. Yeah. If we're not alive, we're not alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. We're together in that situation. That's oh. deep, I like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah, congratulations again both. Um, I'm James, I'm from Bauer Media. We have commercial radio stations around the UK. Um, two things for me if I can. Firstly, you've talked a lot, as Steve pointed out, about wanting to help family. I wonder, you know, the story with this sort of thing is always that you guys have become multi-millionaires, but I wonder if you plan on making family members millionaires as well. And are you comfortable saying, you know, yeah. Is there a number of people you want to make millionaires well, after that? James, well? give them a list, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, it's another thing that I think we've, we've just got to think through. You know you think about winning the lottery, and you know you have this idea, but when it actually happens, my brain's been blank for seven days. <laughs> I've struggled to finish off anything at work. He struggles to finish his sentences. I'm yeah, <laughs> I, I've lost track of pretty much everything. But, you know, we, will, we definitely want to look after our family. It will yeah. be about all of us together. So we feel like our family won the lottery. Not only our immediate family, our extended family, and we can't wait to share it with them, so but, absolutely. But we haven't got as far as... We haven't got yeah, a plan. We haven't got a plan. No. We're but I think it. what's interesting, like, talking to you guys um, next door, is you're such busy people but you will still have, per you'll find purpose off the back of this. That's quite oh, important yeah. to you, isn't yeah, it? We yeah, we will not, yeah, we'll be busy still, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm sure. Uh, Tom Bedford, uh, freelance. Will you have the leaky roof repaired now? Yeah, it's, it's not definitely, and it's not going to be me up there, which is amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. And will you stay there, or will you, will you move? We don't I, know at the moment. Yeah. I mean, we've been there two months, so we're not in love with our house yet. We've just moved in. Um, yeah. So we, it, we, I mean, we are I, I in love, think, but yeah. If, yeah. if anything, we, so we, we, don't know. we won't need to be there if we have building work done. We've got the ability now to move not away and dust. not be covered in dust, which is what we've got at the moment. Everything's covered in dust. So yeah. 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 Um, Jeffrey, you um, change is always a scary thing. Yeah. How scared were you when you I don't. You go in cycles of how you, you feel about this are uh, generally quite positive but you know it, there's a lot going on it, because it doesn't really still feel real I, I don't really know it, I think we weren't know. scared right at the beginning yeah 
but the more you get to understand it, the more yeah, scary it all yeah, becomes. But we're, we're just going to take the yeah. best advice that we can. Yeah, definitely, because like questions today, the things that we haven't, we don't even, we haven't think even considered. About yet. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that we haven't considered. And we've been so busy this week because we've been trying to tie everything up with work and family and friends that we really haven't had time to think about it. Yeah, so we're, we're looking yeah. forward to that bit, of the dreaming bit. Yeah. They were quite scared 10 minutes before they came out here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, Charlotte from Southwest News Service. Uh, Jess, you said that you were worried about going public. What is it that changed your mind? What, why have you made the decision? Um, I, I, I'd say we just thought we're normal people, just the same as everybody else. Like, there's no news story or, like, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm just, we're just the luckiest people ever. So, um, I just didn't know that we would need to. I didn't think it was something we'd have to do. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, and the more we felt the burden on our family from one week of telling some people, we're like, we could never do this to them. And there's so many special people to us and we want to enjoy that and let them be excited because they're so excited for us and for them and the future of our children, really. I guess with that amount of money as well, I I guess it's a case of unless you do (coughs) nothing, you have to tell someone, yes. right? And as soon as you tell right. someone, yeah. then you're asking them to take on that bird. Yeah, we just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's uh, v- uh, Vivek Chowdhury from Mail Online. I was just wondering, are you um, off work at the moment, both of you? And when do you plan to return? So I've been working up until yesterday. I handed over what I had at work yesterday afternoon. Um, I wanted to get as much done as I could because I didn't want to leave the guys I work with you know, in trouble. Um, in some ways that helps as well with this because you, you've got something to take your mind away from the situation. But, but yeah, so I, I've got a few days off. I, I'm going to see how it, how it goes. Um, I, I think in some ways a bit of a normal life from time to time probably will help. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see on my side. Yeah, I'm not off work. I have a team that rely on me. I've been still paying my wages this morning and doing all those sorts of things. So, um, I don't know what I'll do in a week or two. I'm definitely going to take some time. But I have an amazing team that will that have just worked so hard through the last month. So I will take some time to work out what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Sybil. Hi, I'm Faria Kareem from The Times. I'm still on the subject of work. Are you planning to stay in work? And if you are, why? Um, I don't think we are at the moment. I think we will take some time. I don't know about my yeah. salon. It's part of my family business. I think um, I'm going to take some time with that and what we're going to do. And yeah. hopefully it's, they, they, will, they will wait. They have time and can look after it for me. I'm really proud of them. But I think I, Joe, I'm gonna, Oh, yeah, I'm leaving work. I, do, I just don't want to, you know, I just try and... I think we're going to have a full-time job just yeah. managing all of this for yeah. quite some time. And so... Yeah. Um, Joey's really conscientious in his work. I'm, we're constantly like, Dad, should, the kids are like, can't you leave that yet? He's like, no, just give me five more minutes to finish what I'm doing. So he just wouldn't cope with letting people down or all of these kind of things. So, yeah, he has handed his notice in. Hi there, Phil Barnett from the Press Association. Um, to what degree or to what extent of your circle have you told people and how many people are going to be spitting the coffee out while they're watching this live <laughs> it, it's, it's really hard. Because obviously, when, as soon as you tell people before today, then you know that they're with their friends and family, and, and they're in a situation where we said to please don't tell anyone, but they want to jump up and down and run around screaming. So, so we started with yeah, just, just telling close family, like our brothers and sisters, sisters yeah. and our mum, yeah. and that went till literally yesterday, and then we've told our close friends now that we wanted to tell personally. So yeah, we've told a few of them, as many as we had time to. Yeah, <laughs> it, it isn't. A, it wasn't a huge amount because it, there are people people yeah. because of the whole thing there's probably other people that we've missed the whole thing seems so it's gone so quickly and it just feels you know, like a roller coaster to a certain extent so yeah hopefully after today we can sit down and take some time with the kids and just take it easy and think about this a bit more how's your mum jess she right? she's relieved with of her own situation and she's unbelievably excited yeah. for us she want to tell all like yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, she does. I, well, I mean, she's not excited to tell her really, but she's, she's just, yeah, so happy for us, happy for our family, that we can look after them, um, the normal worries that she would have. And, um, yeah, we're happy that I know that I can look after her forever. Yeah. Hi, 
congratulations on your win. Joe Black from BBC News. Um, Jess, you've talked about your late father and how he played the lottery. What would he say about your oh significant win? Yeah. And obviously you no longer need to play the lottery, but do you think you'll carry on that tradition because obviously your father played every week? Um, so he would absolutely love this. Not the limelight, but the dreaming and the possibilities that we'll have for the people we love. And that's, he's all about a community, and he used to tell us he'd have his family in a village that would all live in separate, like he loved that idea of, he was so proud of his children and his grandchildren. So he would love this, and the, the fact that um, we can share it would just absolutely top his day, yeah. I, 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 think, I, I, think, I think it's someone else's turn. Yeah, it's someone else's turn to have the luck. We pass that on. Imagine if they won again. No, don't be silly. <laughs> we, we've taken a long time. We're not young. Yeah. We're not young. We've done it for a long time. <laughs> good, good morning, uh, James Somper from The Sun. Um, firstly, c congratulations to both of you. Um, must be absolutely fantastic. Um, my two questions. Obviously, you've, you've spoken about what you might be doing with, with the money but just between the two of you after you initially found out and that news registered what did you do to, to celebrate and my second question is obviously you know that there have been other big winners in the national lottery over the past are you going to reach out to them maybe so, for some advice on how to approach this journey that you're about to embark on yeah, so we've had a, a family meal haven't we yeah. we went and had a family meal so that we could just share it with our family by ourselves, we haven't really done anything. Yeah, we really we, I'll tell you the truth, we bought bedroom furniture. We've been living in packing cases in our bedroom because we couldn't have furniture. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna go and buy us furniture. So we bought a chest of drawers and a wardrobe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, other than that, for us, we haven't done a gift. No, or, or any, you know, we've had a celebration with our family. Yeah, and, and as far as the advice goes, I think that we, we need as much as possible in yeah, this situation. Yeah, we want as much help as we can get. Yeah. Sorry, just one very quick last one from me. Um, clearly, think events like this make this very real, and having the people on the phone tell you you've definitely won and all that makes it very real. But I wonder, have you actually had the money go into your bank account yet? Because that's when it really becomes well, finalised. <laughs> we you have saw the comedy check. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm off down to Lloyd's with that. To be honest, we haven't seen a bank account with that money in. No, <laughs> we don't yet. Yeah. We haven't seen that yet. So yeah. so, yeah, no, we're not in that position where we've opened our app and gone, oh, you know, no. Yeah.